On the video, the then 19-year-old Ryan Dorham enters the frame first. The officer, his gun drawn, swings his right hand and hits Dorham in the face with his service weapon. You can see a flash as the gun fires. Watch it again. Corporal Taylor wrote in his official report that the gun fired as he was being assaulted by Dorm and that the teen reached for the officer's gun. Attorney Jim Bell represents Ryan Dorm. The video shows that he attacked my client, hit him in the head with a gun. The incident happened in February in Brentwood when Taylor and his partner spotted Dorm and a friend walk into this gas station. The officers felt a robbery was about to happen and entered the store. No crime was committed, but Dorm says he walked away to avoid trouble. This scene played out a couple blocks away as Dorm walked home. He played on the community's um, stereotypes that this young black person was some sort of menace, and he wasn't. The police department uncovered the officer's apparent lie days after Dorm's arrest, and in August, the officer was charged with several crimes. All charges were dropped against Dorm, but not until he served four months in jail. Imagine if that was your son or your daughter. The police chief in Prince George's County has vowed transparency and to eliminate police brutality, but people we showed the video oh. say it's clearly another blow to the department.